CataractCoach.com. IOL exchange with an open capsule. How to do an IOL exchange after a YAG laser capsulotomy. Now, you can see we've been taught to put a three-piece lens in after an IOL exchange, especially if the capsule is open. You can put that lens there in the sulcus, maybe opticaptured, but no single-piece acrylic lenses, right? Or maybe not. Now, a patient like this, multifocal lens in the capsule bag, a lot of PCO, so you do a YAG laser capsulotomy, and that looks pretty good, but you know, the patient's still not happy. Now the patient's got a posterior capsule that's wide open from the YAG laser, and you both decide, for whatever reason, you want to exchange that IOL. Now, the question is, how do you prepare for that? You're going to do an IOL exchange with an open capsule. Well, first thing is figure out what's the IOL issue. What's the power? Was the original power okay? Was it just the trifocal or multifocal nature that wasn't tolerated? What was the issue here? Do you need to recalculate it? So be accurate in your lens power calculations. Now, here on the OR table, a couple of presentations being made. And you can see there's the IOL in the capsule bag. And it already has a YAG laser posterior capsulotomy done. So now, some viscoelastic going in the eye. Like any other IOL exchange, we're going to do a visco dissection using a dispersive agent, get underneath that anterior capsule rim, get some viscoelastic going around, hopefully to help create a barrier effect between the vitreous two. Once you get the lens up, you can exchange, cut it in half, or do our twist and out technique. A little bit of an anterior retractomy is needed. Here's a coaxial, though I prefer bimanual. And now here's the new lens, and you need to place it in the bag. Don't think you can place this in the sulcus. So here, Dr. Wong is holding the optic and then dialing in one half to get a time. So micro forceps to hold the optic and then get this lens positioned and now to get the other haptic in. So you need to do this without further opening up the posterior capsule. So you're gonna use that anterior capsular rim, posterior capsular rim that's there, that's still there, and this IOL is completely in the bag. It is not in the sulcus. Now you're gonna lift the optic up. And so now Dr. Wong is leaving the haptics in the, in the bag, and the optic is brought more anterior, so it's a reverse optic capture, and you may need to adjust IOL position for that. See cataractcoach.com, look up the rule of nines. Now here at the end of the case, bringing the pupil down. So technically the optic is slightly more anterior. At this point, the optic is in the um, sulcus because it's in front of the anterior lens capsule. But the haptics are behind the anterior lens capsule, so they're in the bag. Reverse optic capture. And you can see at the end, it looks pretty good. Now this is, again, off-label use. You've got to do it on your own decision, doctor. Now, another case, going inside here, and now you can see, whoa, look at that lens falling back, back, back into the vitreous cavity. Now, what do you want to do? Wow. So, you got to be careful here. So, here's another case, exchanging out a multifocal lens, cutting it in half, or do twist it out, get it outside the eye. And again, you have an open capsule here. So, you're going to bring the new lens in, slowly placed here in the eye, and you want the haptics for Dr. Wong's technique in the capsular bag behind the anterior capsular axis. Both haptics behind the anterior capsular axis, and then that optic can be captured in front of the rexus to get additional support here. So nice and easy. Now, as you do this, it's pretty normal to get the posterior capsule to expand open more. So if you have a small laser capsulotomy that you think, oh, it'll be pretty easy, but as soon as you put some viscoelastic in, you may notice that Posterior capsule opening goes from small to quite large. Now, do you exchange one multifocal lens for another? Hmm, or do you just say, like this case, exchange a multifocal for an EDOF lens? Or do you exchange a multifocal for a monofocal lens? So again, these are all considerations that you have to take into account here. Now, this is not an easy procedure. You know, if you've done less than a thousand or a few thousand cataracts, this may be a very technically challenging procedure, and you have to proceed with caution because, again, you can cause more harm than good sometimes. And, of course, the, in the worst-case scenario, hopefully you can still put a three-piece lens in with haptics and sulcus and with a standard optic capture where the optic goes behind the capsular axis. So here at the end of the case, you want to make sure there's no prolapse vitreous in the anterior segment. Check your incisions. Ooh, call it a day. Great case. And this came from our podcast. You know, every Sunday we have the top podcast in all of ophthalmology. Check it out. Look for Cataract Coach or my name anywhere we find podcasts. I promise you will love it.